Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Neal. Today we're going to be making some claves, which are rhythm sticks. You've probably used these before, but we're going to make our own style using watercolors and markers. We're going to be focusing on creating a background layer of watercolor and then using markers to put patterning on top of them. It's going to be very similar to the patterns that you will then use these to have a jam session with your friends. Let's get started. You need your two wooden dowels. That will be your claves, your watercolor set, two brushes, a Sharpie, and your Crayola markers. So what you're going to do is you're going to watercolor a base layer onto these first. I'll get my water and a paper towel, and I'll figure out how I want to design these. Do I want one solid base color? Do I want it to fade from one color to another? That's called an ombre. Do I want it to fade from multiple colors or do bands of color? I could do one color with stripes or polka dots, or I could just splash a bunch of color onto them and do whatever I wanted. But I think I want to start with a fade from purple into red. If you are going to do a fade, it's important that you think about two colors that are next to one another on the color wheel. It's very difficult to fade from green to red because they're not very similar. They're opposites on the color wheel. So I'm choosing red and purple because they're next to one another on the color wheel. So I start on one side with my purple. Watercolor is a layer-based paint, and so the more layers you add into the surface, the darker it will become. Another way you can get a dark, rich color is by using not very much water and mostly paint. That's gonna be really helpful to me because I wanna go from a dark purple into a lighter purple next. You can see the line between the two layers. I'll blend that later. So I start with purple. I'm getting it a little bit more wet with water, a little less saturated. Saturated means how full of color it is. And you can see that as I get more water and less color, it's less saturated as it goes down. Now, I need to blend red in here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it around. And you can see this nice ombre effect happening dry my brush and go into red and get a nice thick red color. Not much water, mostly just red. Don't forget to get the ends. You want no wood showing, unless you intend for that wood to show. If you want to leave areas of raw wood showing, that can be really cool with some natural colors. You are the artist, you're gonna make the decisions. It's your style on these. Okay, now more water, less paint. And I'll fade right into the purple. Now you can see dark purple, dark red. I need a little more dark red. Dark red. And if I want to blend a little bit more, I just add some water and blend the two together. Blend along that line. 
That looks pretty good right there. Now I'm gonna do from green to yellow, two other colors that are next to one another. 